Welcome back to Tide Therapy. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Keela. Hey, if not, thank you for the support. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys some products that I picked up from Ulta. These are some of my favorite products. These are products that I swear by, I use every day. Now, I hope you guys are interested in this video. If you are, please continue to watch. But first, I need you to hit the subscribe button. I post videos every week and I promise you don't wanna miss them. Now, let's get into this video. Okay, y'all, so today's video is gonna be a little short. It's gonna be a little simple. I'm just gonna be showing you guys some of my favorite products that I have um, re-upped on, that I have went back and purchased again to get ready for this winter season. Speaking of winter, how are you guys doing? How are y'all doing this December? I hope everybody's doing good. The holidays are right around the corner. I hope you look forward to spending time with your family, your friends. Comment down below and let me know what your plans are for this winter season for this Christmas season if you celebrate Christmas if you don't celebrate Christmas you know what are your plans how are you keeping busy what are you guys up to comment down below holly me in the comments and let me know what's going on so um I just picked up some products from Ulta these are like some of my favorite go-to winter essential products so I will be letting you guys know as well as some just some everyday products that I like as well and some of it is a little new um I got some of this stuff on the sale. I can't think of which sale it was because Ulta runs different sales throughout the year. If you're an Ulta fan like me and you know you're a pro and you own up there, um, I've already reached my 2024 status. So that lets you guys know how much I actually spend at Ulta. But um, some of these products I just re-upped on. I just bought because I really like them. And sometimes I have to wait for them to go on sale because they, they can be a little pricey. Um, and some of them just like my favorite everyday products and I don't like to run out of them. So yeah, here we go. Okay, so first thing I picked up was some new lashes from Kiss. And this is from the Muses collection. This is the style Duchess. So it says, um, this is a classic elegant with a soft layer finish. Lightweight fibers with silky satin. Sheen. It tells you how to apply them as well. Um, so, yeah, these are supposed to be, uh, the band is supposed to be really thin on them, which I like that. If you guys uh, have been watching my channel, you know that I am obsessed with the Kiss um, Lash Cunt or lash extension lash extension but i call it ex extensions the lash extension collection because the band is really soft so the lashes aren't supposed to mimic like eyelash extension and the band is really soft and it's basically clear so you can't even tell people always ask me like do you have eyelash extensions on i'm like no i don't these are strips but you can't tell because the band is uh clear so uh, these have that same type of band. I'm going to pull one up so you guys can see it. I was looking for my tweezers, but I don't see any over here. So, guess what? We're going to improvise. Uh-oh. Now, don't tear your lash up. You haven't even had a chance to wear it yet. Okay. So, this is what they look like. The band looks like. I hope that focuses in enough for you guys to see. There we go. So that's what the band looks like. And the eyelash looks really natural as well. So I like that. I think these will be really cute with a um, simple look or maybe a sophisticated look. I think I would just wear these like every day. These give me everyday vibes. Kind of like the lashes that I have on. So I do like that. Next, we have my uh, favorite eyebrow pencil. So if I could do, maybe I should do a video like this. Y'all comment down below and let me know. This is like top five favorite eyebrow pencil. Like I will not let myself run out of this. I can run out of anything else makeup wise, but I will not let myself run out of this Makeup Revolution Precise Brow Pencil. Like I swear by this in the color dark brown. In fact, my eyebrows today I did with this particular pencil. Um, comment down below and let me know if you guys want me to do a video on like my favorite eyebrow products or my favorite eyebrow pencils. I would love to do that, but I swear by this eyebrow pencil when I tell you it glides like butter, it glides like butter. Like, I mean, 
you don't have to you know how some pencils when you use them for a while because i'm a person that i typically gravitate to pencils just because it's easier for me to use but um you know how when you use pencils for a while sometimes they can get a dry get a little dry and you have to like mark them a little bit to get them started back up you do not have to do this with this pencil like it is ready and a little goes a long way like these eyebrow pencil last me a long time and when i do my eyebrows and i mix it with their um brow glue my eyebrows stay on for like days i kid you not like they stay on for days so just something to keep in mind but i swear by this eyebrow pencil next i picked up um two concealers so the first one i picked up is the tart shape tape concealer now you guys really don't see this a lot on my channel but i use it every time i do my eyebrows so i haven't done an eyebrow video in a long time i know i keep saying i'm gonna do one and i do plan on doing one it's just my eyebrow routine changes so many times and it's really not an excuse but i really am gonna work on putting one out in 2024 but so um this color this is the color i'm trying to see the color this is deep okay yeah this is deep 53 in and i use this on my eyebrows so especially when i'm not planning on wearing any foundation like today i don't have any makeup on just eyebrows and eyelash um i will i paired this with this and my eyebrow gel and this is how i achieve my eyebrows so this gives me that natural color but it also gives it kind of like a little highlight because it oxidizes some so it gets a little darker but it still matches my um, skin complexion i also use this for like days that i don't want to wear foundation but i still want to you know cover up my imperfections like if i wanted to come on here and uh do a makeup look without any foundation i could definitely use this to conceal underneath my eyes and my little dark spots that i have here and there just to kind of even my skin tone out so I use this for that also. I know some people like to use foundation on their eyebrows, but I actually like to use concealer. And I like to use this concealer. And you see this as America's number one brand. Let me tell you, this concealer is, it runs you probably, it's probably in the 20-ish dollar range. But a little goes a long way and it lasts a long time like this is the only concealer i use on my eyebrows i don't use any other concealer on my eyebrows in fact this was like my first expensive concealer that i picked up because i started out like everybody else with the la pro girl and no offense against la pro girl that concealer is still really good but this concealer lasts a long time and like i said a little goes a long way it doesn't take a lot to get it done and i decided to pick up its twin um and this is in the color tan deep sand i want to try this out as a highlighter shade so these are two different shades of course but i want to try this out as a highlighter shade i think the first time when i first got into doing highlighting back when i first started doing makeup i was afraid of this color i wanted something more that fits my skin tone more but i didn't realize like you need a lighter concealer if you want your um if you want to highlight so i'm like okay so now it's been a couple years and I got my confidence up. I'm going to give this a try again. So I'll let you guys know how I feel about this and if it'll come in the rotation or not. But y'all know I swear by my Makeup Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define Concealer that is like my favorite concealer. So we'll see. And it's actually a good dupe for this concealer now that I think about it. It really is a good dupe for um, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Maybe I'll drop a video about good dupes as well. Who knows? Now, I know y'all have seen this on my channel a thousand times because I do not like to let myself run out of this. In fact, I'm currently out, but not because I ran out, because my friend ran off with it. And if she's seen this video, I hope she sees this video, she owed me one of these. But this is the Essence Extreme Shine lip gloss. Now, if you want a lip gloss that's going to have your lips looking like i'm talking about juicy like you just bit into a peach this is the lip gloss this is the lip gloss and i picked it up in a second color this is um trying to see the color of this one because this is just a clear because i love a basic clear so this is in gold dust and i'm thinking this would be good on top of a good new lippy that's what i was thinking when i picked this up but this is just a good everyday lip gloss like if you just want a little shine 
and you know a little goes a long way just one swipe and you good to go you can also mix it with a good brown lip pencil like i said you guys have seen this if you have been rocking with me for a while you have seen this lip gloss on this channel and you know how i feel about it so go ahead and pick and it's affordable like this lip gloss is like two bucks maybe two dollars and some change no more than three bucks at ulta so I mean, you can't go wrong with a good, a really good lip gloss. I know we all say the best lip gloss come from the hair so, but Essence lip gloss is it, y'all. It is it. So I also picked up a lipstick from Essence. I actually have not tried this. In fact, I was thinking that this would be good paired with the lip gloss that I picked up. Also, this is an Essence Matte Liquid Lipstick. It's supposed to last for eight hours. And it is in the color Silky Hazelnut. So let's see what the color actually looks like outside of that. So I was, like I said, I was thinking this would be a good nude lip. So I actually want to try it and see what it looks like. Okay. It is a good, good chocolate lip. Can you guys tell? I can tell just a little goes a long way. So... I do like that. You go in with a little brown lip pencil, maybe throw some lip gloss on top of it, and it's, it's really soft. It's creamy, actually, to be a matte lipstick. It's really creamy, but it's supposed to last eight hours, and it says it's comfortable and kiss-proof. So guess what, ladies? You can kiss your significant other with this, and you don't have to worry about any transfer. You know how some men, they don't want that. They don't want no lip gloss or no lipstick on their face, you know? So... This is supposed to be, you know, transfer proof. So how about we try it out? I'm going to kiss the back of my hand right here and see if we get any transfer. So, no, we did not get any transfer. You don't see any lipstick on my hand. So, okay, Essence sound like they got a good little formula going. I can see my lip print, though. But <laughs> there's no color, no lipstick, no stain, none of that. So... Essence might be on to something. And it dries really fast, too. Yeah. All right. I might have to pick this up in some more colors. But I feel comfortable with nudes and browns. That's my... That's where I feel comfortable at. Now that I'm going to throw some of this um, gold dust on it and see if we got a good lip combo here. Smells good, too. But you see how I said that a little goes a long way. Like, I'm just dabbing my lip. And you can see, you can see that shine just pick up. And there we go. We got a whole little lippy. Now, I think that this um, gold dust has some iridescent color in there. So, if you're not an iridescent girl, you don't want to shine like new money. Um, you know... Stick with the clear gloss. The clear gloss gonna still give you that shine, but it's not gonna give you like this, you know, this type of shine. But it's still gonna give you what you need. So I picked up some more colors or some more Essence products. Apparently Essence was having a sale because, um, yeah. So I picked up the Plumping Lip Filler with Hyaluronic Acid. This is... Um, what the fake is what it's called and i got it in two colors i got it in um one is translucent pearly finish the other one is pearly nude finish and so i don't see the actual colors on here but they are supposed to be 88 percent uh or this is the reviews 88 percent saw a plumping effect 90 percent saw an instant effect 84 percent said it provides a hydrating feeling and um one of them has hyaluronic acid the other one has cinnamon oil so i want to open these and we're going to see what the color is now if you haven't ever tried plumping lip gloss before it's supposed to just make your lips look a little bit more fuller sometimes in my experience the ones that i've tried my lips kind of get this little tingly sensation and i'm not sure if that's what causes the plumping effect but it gets this little tingly sensation so this is just a 
clear color. I was trying to see if the actual color, if they have like a name for the color. Uh Oh, okay. So this one is 01 Oh My Plump. So it's just a clear pearly looking color. And then this next one has cinnamon oil in it. And it's supposed to be a nude color because y'all, like we just talked about, I'm crazy about my nudes, my browns. So, okay. And this is what this one looks like. I think that this one will be really cute paired on top of a chocolate lip, like a brown lip pencil. If I didn't already do my lips, I would actually try that. But since I like this matte color mixed with this lip gloss you know i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep that going so i have just a few more products left those were the new products these are some of my favorites that we're about to get into now we've already talked about some of my favorites but y'all know when it comes to moisturizers this is my absolute favorite moisturizer the total skincare 24 7 moisture hydrating day and cream in fact I love this moisturizer so much, I bought a second one because I don't like running out of it. And to be honest, I have been out of it and I have my products that I use um, in the place of it because this is actually a fairly expensive moisturizer. So this is the travel size and the travel size is like 25 bucks, no, no kidding. Because the big one is like 50 something bucks. But this was on sale 50% off so I got it for like 12 bucks. So that's why I bought two for the price of one. Um, but I absolutely swear by this moisturizer. Like this is a moisturizer you can use in any type of weather. Rain, sleet, snow, hot, cold, summer, winter, spring, fall. Like you can use this moisturizer anytime and you get the exact same effect every time. Especially for my girls who have dry to combination skin like me. But you only get oily in certain areas. Like, I really only get oily in my T-zone area. The rest of my skin is really dry. So, I have to have a good moisturizer that, you know, flows with it, that lays it out. So, uh, and I like for my skin to stay clear. Because, you know, if you have dry skin, it's easy to get dry patches and for your skin to flake up. But if you have oily skin, it's easy to get pimples and stuff like that. And so, you, if you have a good skincare routine where you exfoliate and you do all those things, you're going to want to need or have a good moisturizer. And this is a good moisturizer. I've been thinking about doing a video about my fav my top favorite moisturizers as well. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think about that. I know a lot of times we don't know what products work well with melanin-friendly skin. So um, I'm always testing out new stuff because I am a firm believer that your skin is your best base for foundation like foundation can only do so much and it can only go so far and who doesn't want to have healthy skin so i'm always trying new products so i have different things that i try and i and i feel like really work and i'll use them for a while but this is one that i swear by and i will not let it go like i won't drop it i may stop and not use it for a couple months because my funds running low but whenever i catch it on sale i'm gonna buy it and this time I bought two so I can make sure I don't run out anytime soon. And the last product that I picked up is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. So this is just a face cleanser. I'm going to show you guys what the inside looks like. And so you're just going to take this. In fact, let me read the directions for you guys. If they have them on here. Typically they have directions, but they may not have them on here. So this is like a makeup remover if you want to use it to clean your makeup off. Or this is just something like if you've had a long, busy day and you're looking for something to add to your nightly skincare routine. This is something that you can use. You can use it like what I would do is um, put it on my face before I get in the shower. And, you know, do my full cleansing routine and then go in and also clean my face as well or you know you can do it before you get in the shower you can do it after you get out the shower but this is a cleansing balm so it's going to take all the makeup off typically i like to take my makeup off before i get in the shower and i use makeup wipes and makeup remover but, you know, I'm sure you've done that if you wear makeup and you got in the shower and you washed your face and you still had makeup on your towel or something like that. You realize you still have some residue. This is good for that. So, 
go over your face with your facial um, cleansers, like your makeup wipes and different things like that. And then go over it again with this to fully wipe the rest of the product off your face. And then you shouldn't have as much residue when you get in the shower. Of course, sometimes, you know, it just depends on how well the product is working. But this should get the job done. And I like... um Tarte has a cleansing oil that I like to use also. Um, so I'm hoping with these pair, those two pairs together that I can, you know, because going to sleep with makeup products on your skin can also clog your pores and that could be, that can cause acne and other things that we don't want to happen. We want our skin to stay flawless and clear. So it's good to have some good cleansing products. Okay, guys, so that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share why? Because sharing is caring, and we're trying to grow our hive over here. If you like the vibe, please consider subscribing. I post videos every week, and I promise you don't want to miss them. I hope you guys are enjoying your holiday season. Many, many wishes, best wishes, positive vibes, all of that I am sending to you guys. I hope you guys are having an amazing time finishing out 2023 with a bang. As always, thank you guys for the support, and I will catch you in my next one. Peace.